Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to look at how you can quote unquote disable a MERS device. Technically, you can't disable it because it inherits from the creative object class and you don't have an option to do that in the creative option class. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I come over here and we'll see that our you need two devices for this. So this is the first device here and notice that it's a class that inherits from the creative device class. And if I click here, you'll see under creative device, I can do a, a bunch of things, but I can't enable or disable it. Other devices, you can do that, but the creative device, you can't do that. Like the trigger device, you can enable and disable it, but not this device. One of our options is simply just to hide it in the scene if you wanted to hide it in the scene, or you can have it hidden already. The easiest thing to do is just to disable the device that triggers the creative device. So here that's what we're, we're doing, but let me just show you what we've got going on in the scene. So I've got one trigger device here, trigger device over there, and then I've got two verse devices. This is device one, and we need this device here to control this device off and on. So you actually need a verse device to control the other verse device. Essentially, that's what you need. There is no device paired to this the first device, but to the second one, we have the two triggers paired. And then we actually have the verse device that it's controlling paired to it here. So this second verse device is paired to this first one, and then the two triggers are controlled. Now the, there's two sets of code in here for our two devices. For the first verse device, there's really nothing in here. It's just the creation of it here called verse underscore device. And all it does is print out a string here. All the code is in the second device here. And in the second device, we make a reference to our first device here. Essentially, we bind to it in the scene. And then we have two triggers. One's called my trigger and reset trigger. And then we have what's going to be a logic variable, which we call switch. And then we have two methods here. The first one is a toggle switch. It takes in an agent of the option type and it's set to true and it prints out hide device. And what we do here, the most important line of code here is actually this line of code right here because here we create a reference or instance of our first device so with that and it's called my first device so once we have that reference here i can go my first device and just hide it in the scene it's not really doing anything and then but for my trigger device i can actually just put the code in to disable it so i just shut it off so then i hide the device and then i disable its trigger so it can't do anything. And then the second time around, we set the switch to false and it comes back around if it gets toggled on again. And the second time around, we show the verse device and set the switch back to true. Now, because we've disabled my trigger, if you think about it, there's no way to enable it again. I cannot, I cannot enable this trigger that I disabled by stepping on it again because it's disabled. So I'm going to need another trigger or something to reset this device. So if you disable a verse device, you can't use that device to <laughs> enable it. It's like you've killed it. So there's no way to turn it back on by going back over. It's disabled. So I need a second trigger to reset this one. So that's what's going on there. That's the code. It's pretty straightforward. I'll leave that on the screen for a minute, take a screenshot of that. So here's what this looks like. If we come in here and I go start game, you could also do another things like cancel the subscription. That's another way to technically disable it, but there's no pure way to get rid of that device, to disable it, quote unquote, disable it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go over that trigger. The first device is going to disappear and that trigger is going to get disabled. So watch what happens. Now the verse device is gone and this trigger has been disabled. So there's nothing I can do. And of course I can't use this since it's been disabled to, re to re-enable it. So I need something else like that to reset this trigger. So I come over here. Now the trigger has been reset. Now I can come over here and when I cross over, it appears again, right? And then if I go back over this, it should go off. It does, but now it's been disabled again. So then I need to reset it. I have to come over here 
and reset it. And that's how you could do it. That's one way to do it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.